an order of his most holy inquisition. The members of the Ordo Phoenix are known for being more moral than most other inquisitors. Their primary objective, preparing for a second age of strife, so that if the Imperium would fall, a handful of planets would still stand, awaiting the Emperor's return. Founded by Lord Inquisitor Lazarus in M40, its first members were his acolytes, who were promoted to the rank of Inquisitor. They followed the teachings of Lazarus fanatically. Only having five members, counting Lazarus, it was decided that they required much more members in order to improve their effectiveness. Three members volunteered to go out to recruit new Inquisitors into the Ordo. This took over 30 years, but the Inquisitors returned with many other Inquisitors that were interested in joining. Philosophy The philosophy of the Ordo is simple. Preserve the lives of the citizens of the Imperium as much as possible. The first members followed this philosophy from the very start, but many of the later members only began embracing this ideology after they became a part of the Ordo. This is the exact reason why they joined, to repent and abandon their history, becoming a new individual. In an effort to distance themselves from their past, a lot of them repaint their outfits and weapons they had to the same colors Lazarus used, sometimes even changing names. The past actions are forgotten, and much like Phoenix, the Inquisitor becomes reborn. The Failsafes The Order primarily focuses on preparing for a second age of strife, choosing a handful of planets that are capable of sustaining themselves, they begin making them even more self-sustainable. These planets are constantly watched by the Order, so that these important assets could not fall. The Vaults of Knowledge being well aware of all the knowledge humanity lost because of the cursed age of strife, the Ordo knew, in order for humanity to survive another similar event, the knowledge of the Imperium would need to be preserved. For this reason, the Ordo has decided to build hidden vaults, which contain as much knowledge about the Imperium and its technology, this including how to make higher-end equipment and how to maintain it. These vaults are very well guarded and hidden. Only Inquisitors of the Ordo may open them. All failsafes harbor such a vault so that it might provide the failsafe with the knowledge of the Imperium. Notable failsafes Huria A planet located on the edge of Imperial space in the Ultima Segmentum, it is home to the first Hurian expeditionary force. The fact that they took back their world alone from a gene stealer cult impressed the Order greatly, which led the Order to turn the world into a failsafe. The Inquisitor who is responsible for watching the planet is Cull, an ex-member of the Ordo Mechanica who leads the Manufactorum of Huria, for the Vault of Knowledge built on Huria is under his Manufactorum, which Cull gladly uses to give the Hurians excellent equipment. Hervin Prime Located within the Segmentum Solar, the planet can be considered the headquarters of the Ordo. A civilized world, its landmass is one massive supercontinent that takes up 80% of the planet. Its citizens are spread relatively far apart from each other, using primarily air travel to deliver supplies and such to each other. The headquarters is located within the depths of the ocean. The planet's fault is inside of the headquarters, and because of this, it is regarded as the greatest fault of the Ordo. Notable Members Inquisitor Electus, the Enforcer Inquisitor Electus is regarded as the most militaristic Inquisitor in the Ordo, often called by his peers as the quote-unquote Enforcer. He has a reputation for letting his presence known to strike fear into his enemies, using intimidation to pull information out of his prisoners. Being the right hand of Lord Inquisitor Lazarus, he fulfills his will no matter where he must go and who tries opposing him, making him truly worthy of his title. Inquisitor Cole an ex-member of the Ordo Mechanica, he is considered the greatest keeper of the vaults, and he gladly upkeeps them with blessings of the Omnissiah. Impressed by the achievements of the Hurians, he took great interest in them. He decided to take control of Huria's Manufactorum so he may observe them closer, providing them with high-quality equipment to improve the regiments of Huria.